everyone in YouTube land, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make flaky biscuits. Now self-rising flour is the secret here to these Sunday best flaky biscuits. The flour already has a little bit of salt and leavening already added in, so it makes it super simple and I have our ingredients all laid out here. We have two cups of self-rising flour, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, we have a quarter of a cup of butter or margarine. We margarine, we're using butter here today, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and then I have a little bit um, extra flour here because we're going to flour our surfaces um, because we're baking. So to start, we're going to grab our flour here, add in the baking soda, and just give this a little, little toss. Okay, now we're going to add in the butter, and we're going to cut this in. You can either use um, a pastry blender, if you don't have one of those, you can use two knives like this. So we're literally just cutting like this. We're just making little like cuts, like holding these together as though they were one tool. And you can just sort of like cut it in. And we're gonna continue doing this until the butter is all incorporated and it looks like loose little crumbs. So you don't want the little chunks of butter to get too fine. Um, actually keeping them about dime size, like coarse little crumbs is going to help it be nice and nice and flaky. And of course these are flaky biscuits, so we want them to be flaky. Now what we're gonna do is make a well in the center. So just make like, just like that. Make it like a little donut. And we're gonna add all of the buttermilk in at once. And then we're gonna stir this to combine. But you don't wanna over mix it. So now we are going to put it out onto a lightly floured surface. That's because you don't want the dough to stick. So I'm just going to put some flour on here. Okay. Now let's get our dough right here. We're going to make it into a nice little dough ball. First just kind of squish it together. And then we're just going to fold and then knead down. And we're going to do that like 10 to 12 times until it's smooth. Now don't worry about having a lot of flour on your surface. Um, the dough won't absorb more flour than it can take, so you're good to go. So now we want to roll it out until it's like a half inch thick. So kind of like you're making pizza dough. This is a very similar thing. So now we are going to use our little biscuit cutter here. This is a two and a half inch size. And just like we're making cookies, we're just going to pop those in. Ta -da! And we are going to line them up on this lightly greased baking sheet about an inch apart from each other. And this is going to make between 10 to 12. And when we've got these all cut out, we'll be right back and pop them in the oven. Now, as you'll see, I do have some remaining dough, but unlike cookies or something else, I can't just form this into a ball, push it out again, and try to make more biscuits out of it because you'll actually, by refolding it in and mushing it, you're going to lose those flaky layers, which is the whole point of a biscuit. So this, unfortunately, we have to be done with it. So my oven is preheated at 425 degrees and I'm gonna pop these in until golden brown about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's come back then. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Our biscuits are out of the oven, looking fantastic and smelling even better. Okay, so we're gonna put these on our plate, but for now, let's just test one out. They've been cooling for just a second, so hopefully it won't be too hot, but just check out, see that great, wonderful flakiness? This is just begging for a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna pop the rest in these plate serve them to some guests. But how easy was that, right? That's how you make the perfect flaky biscuit. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.